Hello, Jason here. I'm just here at a very exciting site where we've just completed uh, a fully islandable off-grid system for one of our customers. Um, now, I don't know how much you can see in this video. Here at the top, we've got um, heavy duty cable coming in. So essentially the mains is coming straight into this system through a great big isolator. Um, we've got a main consumer board now here. We've got the Victron uh, 8 kilowatt inverter that supplies the batteries. We've just got the top edges of 20 kilowatt hours of BYD batteries at the bottom here. Over here we've got the Fronius 6 kilowatt inverter. We've got a, a shed load of uh, LG 365 watt panels on the roof and it's, uh, it's really doing uh, hard work here. Now I should say today it's middle of winter it's absolutely pouring down outside so we're not getting a lot of generation going but we are getting here on the colour controller this is like the the nerve center of a, of a Victron inverter system it's showing us how much energy we're using how much is coming from the grid how much is coming from the battery in fact everything here at the moment is coming from the battery these got charged overnight on economy 7 and they're supplying the house uh, in its entirety at this moment in time now what's one of the exciting things about this is because we put this system in in series not in parallel so the owner now has the option to completely disconnect from the grid so by switching this vertical into island mode it means that literally this place is an electrical island um, if the solar being generated if it's sunshine then the solar will come into the house and be used the victron though is clever enough that if the batteries are full, if there's more solar than is needed, then the Victron will talk to the, 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 uh, the solar inverter and literally close it down until it's supplying the right amount of power. But this whole system working together in island mode will still be 50 hertz, 240 volts. So it maintains the exact right electrical properties to drive all your household appliances in the normal way. We switch it around here to grid only. So if you want to isolate the system to do electrical work or to carry out any other uh, interesting ideas, put it into grid only. This is disconnected. You can safely manage it, do stuff to it. And of course the default battery and grid. So we've got the grid to top up if we want extra power. We've got the batteries which are charged for a mixture of economy seven, but also uh, from the solar during the day. We've got uh, a five kilowatt peak system installed here. So, it really is a fully boots full-on system.